Not sure where my ice scraper's at. Lucky bag will work, lucky bag will work. All right, guys, good morning, actually good afternoon. Squeezing in this run up in the mountains with the lucky poles, let's go. Some wizard sticks, if you, if you will, if you will. Don't forget that hot drink. Don't forget that hot drink, YouTube. Oh, baby. All right, trying to make a decision, trying to make a decision between the Solomon Speed Cross 4 and the XA Alpine. Remember in yesterday's vlog, all about the Solomon shoes, go check it out. Essentially, I'm gonna go measure the depth of the snow and that will impact the shoe decision. So, um, if and again, if you have any thoughts or questions about Solomon shoes, let me know down in the comments. All right, let's go measure some snow, come on. And again, yesterday I talked about the Spenco, that green cushion that I put in most of my shoes, but especially these XA Alpine shoes from Solomon. It's just a very hard outsole and it has a carbon chassis in the shoe. So anyway, just relieves a little bit of the pounding on your joints and your knees. Um, they feel amazing right now. And some of you mentioned yesterday the concern about the cost of Solomon shoes. I completely agree. However, I will say I've never thrown away a pair of Solomon shoes, meaning the build quality of Solomon running shoes, I think is second to none. Now they're always a little stiff. They take a little bit of time to break in, but they're going to last you forever. I've never thrown a pair away. I, I know I will eventually, but uh, for the specific of what they're made for running, especially in the mountains, although they do make road shoes, they do make road shoes, but they are, they focus mostly on mountain running and trail running. So anyway, I, I just want to let you know, I, I hear what you're saying about the price, but the build quality is amazing. Okay, we've got the Lecky poles here. We got the Lecky poles. We're going out. I'm going to go out for about mm, eight miles and then I'll come back, pick you guys up and let you know what, you, what I think about these Lecky poles for helping you train in winter conditions. I know you're concerned about falling and some of you are very concerned about ice and I get it. And so, Maybe this could be an option for you. All right, come on.
Oh, so good. Oh, that hot drink, remember yesterday? That's the tip of the day. Have a hot drink ready when you get back from a long, cold run. And it is cold. It is 18 degrees where I'm at. That is freezing. All right, the Lecky Micro Trail Pro trekking poles. I got to tell you a quick story about these poles. Essentially, I was training for a 100 mile race this past summer, and uh, little did I know that this particular ultra race does not allow poles in the race. You can't use poles, it's not allowed, it's against the rules. You'll be disqualified. Whereas some ultra races, require you to have poles. Thankfully, somebody told me before the race that I'm, you're not allowed to use poles. But I bought these poles, and yes, they're not cheap. I'll tell you the price back at the house. Uh, but essentially, I was heart, I was actually, I was kind of heartbroken because I was really excited to use these poles in the race, but I was not allowed to use them. Uh, but I feel like today, out on the trails, through the snow, I found a little redemption. A little redemption today because I, I'm going to be able to use these guys all winter in the in the snow and running up the ski resorts and even even in the urban environment in the city where I live in Denver like when there's hard packed snow and ice I'm going to use these like not every time but a lot of the time when it's really slick out so anyway that's my little story about these poles is like it broke my heart that I could not use these in the Run Rabbit Run 100 mile race. Go check that video out if you haven't seen it. And uh, anyway, okay, I am shaking and freezing. I gotta go back to the house. Oh, come on YouTube, I love you, I love you. Here I am unboxing these trekking poles four months ago. Look at these guys. Whoa. Goodness, look at that. Let's see here. Oh, oh yeah. Hold on. Those clips of the Lecky Micro Trail Pro trekking poles, that's a mouthful, was filmed at the exact same location that I was at today, Deer Creek, south of Denver. Great place to run, you should check it out. Uh, now, when there's snow on the ground, it's a little more challenging. The question quickly becomes about the Lecky trekking poles. Do I prefer running with or without poles? Of course, I prefer running without poles. And frankly speaking, I kind of made fun of people in my mind when I saw them running with poles. I was like, what on earth? This was, you know, back especially when I was in college. I'm like, what are these people doing? Like, put the poles down and start running. But this past summer, when I was training for a hundred mile race, like my legs are only so strong. They're only so big and that's not very big. And so getting ready to run a hundred miles, I really, really felt like these poles benefited my training. Unfortunately, I was not able to use them as I already mentioned in the race, but yes, I of course prefer running without poles. However, in the winter time when there's six inches of powder on the ground, yeah, they help, especially when it's slick and you're breaking trail. Now, by watching today's video about running and about these poles, are you convinced to go out and purchase a $200 pair of poles? These poles are $200. That's right. That is not cheap. Um, you're probably not convinced and that's okay. I frankly will not be using these poles next summer because I'm going to be training for a road marathon and other training but mostly I'm gonna focus on a road marathon. And so these poles are not gonna be nearly as important for me next summer. Um, they were important last summer, but they're not gonna be important next summer. However, now, this winter, so in December, I'm gonna to start to taper down. January, I'm gonna slowly start to taper up. February and March, watch out. I'm gonna be building an aerobic base like you've never seen before. And these poles are going to be critical to that because, yes, I'm going to be running at high altitudes up in the mountains where there's going to be a lot of snow. And it seems like I'm getting the sense that this is going to be a snowy year across the United States. I don't know. I'm just picking it up. So 
Are you convinced to go buy this poll? Probably not, because you probably live in an urban environment. Some of you maybe live in rural areas, and that's amazing, but I bet a lot of you live in urban environment, in cities. I'm gonna make a point though about these polls where I think you might be able to use these in the city. Now you have to be willing to get over the fact that people may look at you funny. If you go running around your town or your college campus or your city with polls, people are gonna look at you. Just, you gotta get over it. Humility, all right? Just let it, let it slide off your back. Um, these polls could be used in St. Paul, Minnesota. Green Bay, Wisconsin, uh, Buffalo, New York, uh, Helena, Montana. What I'm getting at, guys, if your city is just caked with snow, like sidewalks, pavement, everywhere is snow, and it's a little slick, I'm telling you, today on the trails, I never once thought I was going to fall because I had these poles. So $200 investment versus falling on my butt, yeah, I'm going to invest $200 or falling and like cracking my, my knee on a rock that's hidden under the snow, yeah, I'm gonna invest $200. And you may be wondering, wait a minute, why don't, why don't I just go cross country skiing or snowshoeing? And that's fine. I love, you know, it's like any exercise is good exercise in the winter, but I love running. I don't love cross country skiing. I don't love snowshoeing. I love running. It's fun. Remember a couple days ago? It's fun. I would prefer to just go run versus pull out the skis, pull out the snowshoes. I just want to go run. And so when it's really slick here in Denver, Colorado, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to use these poles with this carbide tip on the top here, or sorry, on the bottom of the pole, that's going to dig into the ice and I'm not going to care what people think about me. And so don't worry. I get it. I realize using poles for running is a little extreme, a little strange. You've probably never done it before. In fact, that is the key word of the day. Polls down below in the comments. Thank you. And the question of the day, have you ever used polls for running? And would you ever consider it? Uh, whether it's for summer training or winter training, uh, let me know. I'd, I'm curious because it is it is a definitely a niche form of running. A lot of you know, a lot of ultra runners train with poles or are required to race with poles because, you know, like UTMB over in Europe, you have to have poles on you as you're racing. And so anyway, I'm just curious to see where you guys are at in the pole genre of running. And essentially, I'm not saying you need to go out and buy poles. Trust me, like you'll survive without them. But I will just point out that I felt great today on the trails with poles. I never felt like I was going to fall. And uh, yeah, my, even though I was slipping out a little bit in these XA Alpine shoes, they were great today. However, today would have been a perfect day for the Solomon Snowcross 2 shoes. But I got to save up a little more money before I can get those. So these guys did great, but the lugs on the bottom were not huge. So I was slipping around and that is where the poles came in handy. Um, and I will just say I did test them out on the pavement and People have said that the carbide tip might wear out over time on pavement or rock, a lot of rocks. And I would agree, I would probably agree with that, but like it did fine on the, on kind of the hard packed dirt in the pavement as well. So the poles weigh 6.7 ounces, pretty incredible. You, you, you don't even know they're there. They're so lightweight. Uh, it's a carbon fiber construction, carbon fiber construction. As you've already seen, they, they collapse. So they break down very easily. So you can pack them up and pack, you know, take them on, on a trip, take them anywhere. They're just amazing. And then they connect with this, um, I guess this would be considered, I don't actually know what's inside. It looks like a, um, oh, what would it be called? Anyway, they connect, they connect. And this grip on top is cork. And so you really feel like you get a good grip on the cork. And that does it for the Lecky Trekking Poles. I hope you learned something about trekking poles today. And at the very least, hope you enjoyed the beauty up in the mountains with the snow. Pretty epic up there. I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for commenting. And uh, you better believe we'll be here tomorrow. Be here tomorrow. In fact, I think I'm meeting up with a fan of the YouTube channel tomorrow here in Denver. So that'll be fun. Come back for that. Seek beauty. Work hard. And love each other. We will see you tomorrow.